Before, after. Before, after. This Wednesday. I was called Pinocchio for my nose. Extreme Makeover, right after The Bachelor, Wednesday starting at 9, 8 central on ABC. He is the plastic surgeon who started the extreme makeover phenomenon. Dr. Garth Fisher is a board-certified plastic surgeon whose surgical talents and on-camera personality are unparalleled. Dr. Fisher has appeared on numerous national television series, ranging from Entertainment Tonight to Good Morning America to The Oprah Winfrey Show. Dr. Garth Fisher is here who did the surgery. Dr. Fisher, so when you saw her, did you know immediately that's what it needed, what she needed? Um, I felt that that's what it needed, but I wanted to consult with her to find out what she wanted because it's important that she's happy. I wanted to know, though, for all the people who have, like, tummy tucks and things, you can get your tummy tucked, but if you're still eating like a pig, it's just gonna <laughs> what? You know, I think it's really important that the doctor selects the right patient, and it's gotta come inside, and, and you, you, can, you know, a patient's gotta be self-motivated and, and do a lot of the work on their own to have a successful outcome. It's not just the doctor. I watch Extreme Makeover all the time, so, so, so is it weird to you to be a, a doctor to be in the medical profession, but you're kind of like a rock star because everyone knows who you are now. Well, I don't consider myself a rock star. I just, uh, I'm just a doctor. And uh, so I guess uh, I don't think about it too much. Just I'm try just to do my job. I'm just a doctor who rocks and rolls. Just do my job. That's all I do. Why, among all the medicines, did you choose plastic surgery? Um, you know, I really enjoyed it, and I thought my, my talents were best suited for that particular discipline in medicine, and um, things just evolved. I've, I've just been very, very happy and fortunate. Do and, they stay in the Are these cases, which, is the word extreme correct? Yes, I think yeah. they're extreme. How do you decide who to take and who not to take? Well, it's really based on medical appropriateness and communication, finding out what the patient wants and whether you can deliver that and uh, making sure that they understand that there's risks and they're really clear about that. I think just as long as they're really, really informed. And, and I would think you'd have to worry about the psychological state of the people as oh, well. Oh, obviously. I think that's definitely one of the most important things. And you have to really be able to measure up your patient and understand uh, where they're coming from, you know, where they're trying to get. You know. And so I asked them if they're pleased with the results. Are you pleased? Oh, I'm very happy. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. very happy. And while Dr. Fisher excels in his television interviews, his most important communication skills are reserved for his patients. Hey, the doctor's here. Dave, how are you doing? Very well. You look really handsome right now, though. I'm going to make sure, and everybody here is going to make sure that you get the best of care. We're going to make sure everything's right for you, okay? Would you it know? be a, a scar where you take out the fat here? Or? Usually make a little incision inside the eye or make a little tiny incision right on the very bottom right here, and the skin is so thin it heals really well. You've got pretty lips, actually. You just take this off, and you've got a really pretty border, and, and your lips look nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it looks so different. I think now it's going to look... The good thing is your nose is going to get better and better and better as time goes on. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Dr. Fisher.